Markets are having a nice little green day across the board. Uh, and I've noticed something interesting in the Bitcoin chart. We're going to take a look at it here in a second, but let's check the markets real quick. Dow Jones at 231 Eastern Standard Time is up 300 points, 1%. Uh, S&P is up 1.5. NASDAQ is up 2.3. So last couple of days have been positive for the markets in the face of negative news. Uh, you know, rising inflation, uh, jobless claims up to the highest level since January. As planned layoffs soar, trade deficits hit 2022 lows. Um, we know that the GDP is forecasted to decline. Goldman is slashing their GDP forecast. So a lot of negative news for the economy, but markets are up. So what is going on? Well, a lot of that is the bounce in anticipation of the Fed. They're coming out. All the different Fed board members are talking about, you know, raising interest rates 75 basis points. They're going to do it um, at the next meeting minimum, depending on the, G, uh, the inflation print that comes out on the 13th, which is next week, uh, on Wednesday of next week, I believe it is. And, um, you know, if that comes out hotter than expected, they might go for 100. If it comes out on par or as expected, they're going to do the 75 basis points. And then, uh, you know, markets might start selling off a little bit, declining a little bit in advance of that next week. But let's take a look at what's going on in Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin on the four hour chart. And we have these levels <clears throat> that we've been watching. Last time we had this little triangle pattern, Bitcoin broke out, put in a little pop back here to this, you know, initial bounce area. And then, you know, ultimately declined down to this 17.5 level, 17.494 level here. Um, so we had the same kind of a trend going on in this area. This one was similar here, except you had the Doquan buying kind of blowing this little pattern and distorting it a little bit. But it's, you know, this whole uh, leveling down situation has been happening all along the way uh, with Bitcoin. So that's kind of what we've been watching as this. Uh, you know, the markets price in the uh, inflation prints that are coming out and the Fed response to it. So the question is, are we going to have one more leg down from here? Well, let's take a look at this and I'll show you what I found that looks kind of interesting. Obviously, you can see where the price broke out the last time, consolidated, popped up one more time back to this level here uh, and then, you know, bounced around a little bit before it broke down. So the question is, are we going to see the same thing this time? Bitcoin almost got there last time. We're looking at 21.8, 21.9. But really to repeat what it did last time, it would need to pop up to 22.9, 23,000, which there's a lot of technical analysis out there for you know a mean-ish reversion back to that level uh, to see if there's going to be rejection and roll back over kind of like it did right here. So the price could be in the middle of doing something like it did right here. It's kind of repeating that where it popped up, broke the trend line, um, and then open the next, you know, four hour candle up consolidated before it ultimately popped up. Same kind of thing here, broke the trend line, next four hour candle opening up. If we look at it on the hourly, it looks even more similar. So you can see price kind of consolidating in this area right here a little bit, waiting to see if there's enough support uh, like it did here to push it to that next level up. So, you know, some of this obviously too is liquidations going on with longs and shorts, you know, along the way with these bounces. But here's the thing that's interesting. Let's go ahead and look at this on the four hour again, is that the days that these are occurring from the bottom. So here's the bottom uh, from the last cycle here. And the, it broke the trend line about 17 to 18 days after the bottom there. And let's see what we're looking at this time. Here's the bottom count. And trend line was broken 18 days from the bottom right here. So this price action is pretty much repeating. So when it broke, when it bottomed out right here, it broke the trend line 18 days later. When it bottomed out here, we'll look at it again. Broke the trend line. Let's look at that last down day. Broke the trend line 18 days later. So pretty interesting stuff. So the question is, is it going to break up back to this initial bounce level? right here like it did last time what kind of a bounce would that be from you know, the very bottom that was a 28 percent bounce from the very bottom of the range here that's a 30 percent bounce so really interesting how these patterns are developing and shaping up so is that what we're going to see we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out it'll be interesting if it does and then basically what happened was this was all in advance of that you know, uh, inflation print that came out in the Fed's response to it. Uh, 
So we'll just have to see if this is what we're going to be looking at next time. And how many days was that after it broke the trend line before it started and broke back down? Uh, that was 11 days. So if we look at it from here, let's see where 11 days puts us. So um, 11 days from the breakout over would put us at, let's look at this here. Where is 11 days going to put us? We'll measure it over. 11 days is going to put us at right around the 18th of July. So the Fed, the next Fed meeting is around the 15th. So that'll be interesting uh, to see if uh, the price kind of repeats the same thing that it did last time with the same amount of days. Let's take a look at it on the daily here. And you can kind of see the same thing here. This whole range, I believe, from the last bottom candle till it broke down was 29 days. So from the last bottom candle over 29 days, 17th of July. So 15, 16, 17, which is the Fed meeting. That's the next time the Fed meets. So price could be you know, working its way down towards and in, in anticipation of the next Fed, Fed meeting, or it might roll over after the Fed meeting. So we'll just have to wait to see how this all plays out in anticipation of what the Fed does. Last time, this was all a result uh, you know, in advance, this is June 15th right here, the last time the Fed met, and uh, we're waiting for that July meeting and uh, when CPI came out and all that. So, it, you know, the price action was ahead of the Fed meeting, so we'll just have to see if this plays out over the next week uh, in anticipation of the Fed meeting the following week. So inflation prints next week, Fed meeting follow, following week, so that puts you in that time frame where the market could roll over in anticipation of the Fed meeting, or this could just continue up and, uh, you know, for a little bit higher of a level here, but uh, it looks like that reversion back to that 23.3 is definitely possible and in, in the cards right now, especially looking at what the markets are doing right now, kind of bouncing up again, you know, in anticipation of the next leg down as it's been doing with inflation, Fed moves, things like that. Um, and I think most, you know, analysts out there are in agreement that puts you back down towards these pre-pandemic level uh, highs that we had is, you know, what price is kind of working its way back to on most of the indices they are not quite there yet. So that's another 10, 15% down. And I think, you know, there's a lot of confluence in the markets from a technical standpoint, a lot of analysts kind of seeing the same thing. So um, that's what we're just going to have to watch out for uh, there. And right now, it's just a matter of keeping an eye on the headlines. We've got earnings coming out. We have CPI coming out next week. We have the Fed coming out after that. So We'll just have to watch their response, see what happens and see how the markets react to it. But interesting pattern there on uh, Bitcoin with the same level uh, and price action breaking out of that upper range like we saw last time. It'll be interesting to see how that ultimately plays out. Those are the things I'm looking at today. I'll see you in the next video.